terrifying chemical leak at a YMCA pool that sent dozens of children to the hospital struggling to breathe. ABC Steve Osinsami is on the scene in Durham, North Carolina. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, George. This was a frightening moment for parents who had children here. They were watching on TVs in some cases as their kids were being hauled out onto the sidewalk and into the street being treated for chemical exposure. North Carolina authorities this morning are trying to explain to parents how a summer camp trip to the pool turned into a hazmat scene where dozens of children had trouble breathing. You can literally smell the chlorine in the air. It happened at the YMCA in downtown Durham, North Carolina. The building had to be evacuated after reports of a chemical leak at its indoor pool. Some children began complaining about nausea and breathing issues. Our camp staff immediately contacted EMS and began notifying parents. First responders soon learned that the children were overcome by dangerous chemicals leaking from pool equipment that had poured onto the floor. This real strong smell started coming off the water, so after about five minutes I got out and all these kids got in. Authorities say the leaked material was sodium hypochlorite, a chlorine-based chemical used as a disinfectant in swimming pools. At this point in time, that's what it appears to be some type of mechanical issue. Forty children between the ages of six and twelve and two adults were rushed to local hospitals struggling to breathe, vomiting, and rubbing their eyes. It all depends on the level of exposure, how long you were exposed to it, how severe that might be. The CDC says that pool chemical injuries send 5,000 Americans to emergency rooms each year, and more than half of those hurt are children. Six of the children who appeared to be in the most serious condition at the pool were treated at local hospitals and sent home overnight with their families. The YMCA says they're not sure when they'll reopen here, and they also point out that this time they believe the chemicals were spread through the air and not through pool water, as you might expect. Robin? All right, Steve, glad the children are doing better this morning.